Hello, Daily Cloud. I'm Kate Malgoza, and today I have with me Mr. John Davis, um, who is, you were, a, Mr. Davis, you were a pilot for um, Pilots and Paws for 18 years. Is that right? That is correct. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and kind of what that entails? Well, I started years ago. I, <laughs> I did the silly thing. You either were on a sailboat or a plane, and I decided on the plane. So what I did is I bought a plane and met the nice pilot. And the next thing was she was a lovely lady and she was flying for pilots and paws. And she said, how would you like to be the co-pilot? And I said, sure. So it just started and the year progressed for after a while I was flying and she was co-pilot or I was flying. It's a great organization without boring everybody with the details. It's 100% free. It's in all 50 states and it has 4,000 pilots doing it. And last year we saved 14,500 dogs. So I hope I've given you a little shot of what Pilots and Paws is about. Yeah, that's great. Um, now I understand that you have some uh, personal experience with um, the side effects regarding uh, Pfizer. Can you give us some, some details on that? Sure, as a pilot, which is the side issue, but anyway, it requires me to take a physical every year before I can fly, it's called it's called a medical. The license is forever, but it's a medical. And I've been doing this for about, oh, 20 years, taking a physical and no problems. Then in 21, I took my physical and about four months later, I took the two Pfizer vaccine shots. And of course, the sad and dangerous thing is I'm going along and I don't know it. And that's what scares me after talking to the doctors. I had a heart condition and I was going along totally unaware until I went to do this year's flight physical. And two doctors worked with me and they said I had a, a um, well, it's like it's the simple terminology is my heart was beating twice its rate. And it was doing that about 50 to 60% of my of, of my time. And so, what it meant is I had to find another specialist cardiologist, which I did, and we worked on three medications and we finally got it from the 50% to under 2%. Now, without digressing about who, what, where, I just feel since I'm not an epidemiologist, I felt that that's still strange. Almost 20 years without a problem and all of a sudden for a pretty healthy person, I'm now having a heart condition. And if I don't if I didn't do anything about it, I would never probably fly again. So I hope I'm helping you with where we're going. Yeah. So essentially what I'm getting from that is you never really had any kind of health issues. And then you receive the vaccine. And the next thing you know, you're having heart problems all of a sudden. Well, I want to be fair. I, I was in a doctor's office when I lived on the Rappahannock River. And one day I went in for a little test and he said whoops you're not doing too well so i did have bypass surgery 22 years ago and the good lord and whatever was working with me and i had no things i kept flying and this is the first sort of i guess you call it the shock in my life that all of a sudden i went into a physical feeling great and my body doesn't know anything and i'm getting no message but lo and behold he says oh we got to get you another cardiologist specialist and that's when they diagnosed the fact that I had a heartbeat that was about 50, 60% more than I needed. Yeah, and, and the fact that um, this is actually a pretty common side effect, uh, heart heart um, conditions, especially, um, I think it's myocarditis um, is another common one that is a heart related uh, effect that goes along with the Pfizer. So a coincidence, yes. I don't know. No. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, the other the other thing that's interesting is that um, I was looking, obviously looking around and there's a great future in stem cells side issue. Uh, I had a daughter just go through that and she's doing great and I'm looking at it and there is stem cells available to try to work on it, but I don't think it's 100% approved and I'm not going to go out on a limb. I got enough of a problem by catching something that I didn't expect to catch. So, right. so uh, fire away. I also found, well, one other quick one. I thought, well, maybe I'm just one. There's about 50,000 people in the county. 
So I started talking to my friends. The next thing you know, a friend of mine in the VA, Coop, she's got it. And then I got another one. I said, uh oh, this is not. So my son is quite a talent with IT. So he downloaded Pfizer's side effects. We came up with 1,291 side effects, and his father has got one of them. So I sort of started putting two and two together with the fact that 18 to 20 years here I'm flying, no problems, and now all of a sudden, bingo, something I didn't even know I had, I do have. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's very interesting, especially how many how many people would you say that you've talked to that have also had um, side effects after receiving the vaccine? Well, it's pretty limited, believe it or not, because I'm a guy that's more up in the air than I'm down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've only talked to a couple and that's it. But I can't believe with 1,291 side effects that there aren't more out there. And of course, if they're all like me, which is scary meaning I knew nothing. There could be a load of people walking around with heart problems that don't even know it. Right, absolutely. Um, and and what's your opinion on, because um, I mean, obviously these side effects have not been in the public, um, public knowledge for a long time. And so what is your opinion on um, people like uh, Dr. Fauci or people um, in power who have known about these side effects and who had not released them before now? Well, my personal opinion, I'm a believer that he should be in jail because he's back again. And of course, I watch two programs and your good friend, Dr. Wolf, has been on one of them is News, uh, Max News and Real America Voice. And I was seeing that all of a sudden he's back preaching to mothers, which I think is scary, that five to eight is now the new block for taking a booster. I will mm -hmm. tell you, frankly, there will be no booster in my life. <laughs> I just don't have any faith. And right now I'd like to do flying and things like that. So I don't think I would take on something like that. I have I have three or four other pilots that refuse, absolutely refuse. They they weren't aware of me at the time, but they just didn't feel comfortable with something that they don't feel is well proven. And have and have those people who refuse to take boosters and things like that, have they have they uh, come across any kind of um, like discrimination at their work, for example? Like I know a lot of people, you know, have faced challenges. No, that. no I understand where, you, where you're thinking. No, I haven't found a soul except uh, the one pilot is my co-pilot, very interesting gentleman. He flies for Southwest and he said it's been a real mess. He, he has no problems. Uh, but he said the, the airline industry, of course, is just having a fit, you know, masks, no masks. And then now you, United is back with masks. <laughs> so I, I think the confusion is in the whole country is there's no leadership in my judgment. You can't trust the CDC. You can't cuss, uh, trust who's at the legislative top, the president. And then again, I don't trust Dr. Fauci. He's got too much money invested overseas. Yeah, I understand. Um, is there anything else you'd like the audience to know about this, about um, Pfizer side effects in your experience or um, anything like that? Well, I don't have enough experience except with the three or four, three, two or three people that I run into. And of course, my son is an avid reader and I wouldn't even know him that much if he didn't download the Pfizer side effects. And I think the sad part is most of the country have no idea still. They don't know where to download them and also there's a, a lot of background of companies right now that are trying to hire uh, people for free or whatever to look at all 55,000 pages of the Pfizer background, which is an, a daunting task. And I don't want to bother doing that. I've got enough trouble with my own life and what, what's happened to me. So, oh, um, Actually, that's, that's something that we're working on. Um, we've got some volunteers together at uh, Daily Cloud who are working on those pages. Um, so it's a big project, so um, definitely understands, you know, some hesitation, but um, we really appreciate you taking the time today to, to talk to us about your experience with, with the Pfizer side effects. I really appreciate you taking the time, too, because being the factor that I knew nothing, how many other people are out there walking around with the possibility, you know, and, they, and they're not being a pilot, they might, they might not go to, depending upon the age group, they might not go to a doctor for another year, figure it's my yearly, and then they might find it. And then another bad thing is 
your average doctor, I don't think is going to find it. I had to go to a cardiologist and especially, of course, in the FAA or the pilots area, that's mm -hmm. a mandatory thing. And I do a side issue. A comment is I do feel bad for mothers. There's Dr. Fauci spouting away. I just got off Newsmax <laughs> <laughs> and there he is right there. He's doing it. And the highest paid guy in the government. And those things just bother you no end when you realize there's nothing cohesive right now in the country. Um, and that really, you know, as a citizen and a voter and whatever, it just worries you, which way are we going? And of course, it's so nice of you to put maybe a face with relation to a problem because so many people are just, you know, you listen to the, the news and it's talk, 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 and nothing's happening. So I'm glad I got to see you because now I know who you are and mm -hmm. you know who I am. Absolutely. So, yeah. We got to we gotta get the word out there about this kind of thing. So we really appreciate it. I'll do anything that the good doctor or you wish. I'll be glad to work with you. I just figure that a personal experience in front of the media or should say in front of television or whatever. So mm -hmm. I'll be glad to do anything to help you to work on a little bit farther. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope the rest of your day goes well. You too. Thank you. Hey, take care. You too. It's Naomi Wolf of Daily Clout, and I am asking you to please, uh, if you like the video you just saw, uh, support us, become a member, donate. Um, you can send checks to P.O. Box 24, Millerton, New York, one two five four six or go to daily clout d-a-i-l-y-c-l-o-u-t become a member or donate thank you so much for your support every penny goes for paying our hard-working staff paying hosting costs and paying our lawyers um, who have been uh, leading the fight to keep you safe and free to keep the constitution safe and to keep you free thank you so much